Hey guys, what is up? Vero here. So unfortunately I was unable to attend BlizzCon this year, but I'm hoping to go next year, so be on the lookout. Um, and I wanted to kind of make a video on my thoughts of the new expansion, Warlords of Draenor, or WAD as people are calling it, which I kind of want to go out on the limb and say, can we not call it WAD? I mean like all the other expansions, you know, we had like Rat, Kata, and BC, and they had all these like fun little names, but WAD just sounds like something someone threw up at BlizzCon or something. Like I totally got drunk at the Hilton and I totally wadded all over the floor. Okay, that just sounds weird, but I think you kind of know what I mean, but I've been referring to it as Warlords or Draenor, which are both kind of long in comparison to Kata and Wrath, but whatever. Anyway, so I have a list that I doodled all over. And all the time it says World of Draenor, and I don't know why. I think I started to write World of Warcraft and then got lazy and then just wrote that in. But there are a couple things that I'm excited for in the new expansion, so I'm just gonna go over just a few of them. Um, so first thing, leveling from 90 to 100. I am not looking forward to that. Now they have said that it's going to be less um, like tedious and less grindy, which is great because um, I'm probably the worst leveler in the entire world. I'm really bad at leveling, like no joke. Um, I mean, if you look at my character videos where I go over the characters that I have, I have a lot of characters that are high level, but they got that way with Refer a friend or through power leveling. So I've only leveled two characters from one to 90, and that is my druid and one of my just priests. That's it. Everything else was refer a friend or a free scroll of resurrection or power leveling. Oops. So I'm a little nervous about that, but they have said that um, it's going to be a lot easier, so that it's kind of reassures me a little bit, especially since I'm going to have to at least level um, two to three characters to 100. So, um, the third, uh, this actually isn't on the list, but it's been being talked about since last night about flying, about there not being any flying until, like, I think, like, there's gonna be, like, a daily or a quest or something. I'm a little disappointed in that, purely because I'm lazy and I don't want to run around, and it's so much easier to just to mount up and fly than to walk or to take flight paths. Um, but, I mean, if they do it that way, I'm not gonna be super cranky and be like, I'm not playing your game because of this one thing. Um, you know, I'm still gonna play it and I'll figure it out. I probably won't grind it out on all of my characters, maybe just one or two, but maybe they'll come to a compromise and if they don't, whatever, I'll deal with it. So something else is the item squish, which I think has been needed for quite a while. Uh, currently, um, my Raiding Dis Priest alone buffed has well over 600k health. One of our tanks actually has a million health buffed and just the numbers are just completely outrageous and I think the item squish is needed and I think they were saying um, like with the item squish players health will be like 30k ish um, which I'm excited for because you know I think it kind of takes us takes us back a little um, I think it'll be weird at first when you're leveling and you're like I only have 20k health and I'm level 94 what is this but I think we'll get used to it after a while and it won't be a big deal um, another thing I'm excited for are the free 90! Woo! Um, I know when they did Scroll of Resurrection, a lot of people were really upset because these players that haven't been playing the game got this free character, while those that haven't played the game got diddly, is how they felt. Um, so I think this is kind of their way of being like, here, free 90. Stop complaining. Um, I don't know what class I will put at 90. Um, let me know what class you're going to put at 90. Um, I was thinking... I have a rogue at like 30 something, so I thought about doing the rogue, but I also thought about my warrior. Um, she is, I think like 82 or 83, um, so I thought about making her 90, or I have my shaman or my paladin, I don't really know. I'm probably just gonna like wing it and just pick something. There's also the garrisons. Now, when Mr. Pendaric was being talked about and the beta and stuff, I did play the pet battles and I was excited for this farm and I don't really do either. I do farm sometimes. For gold um but for the most part i don't do it um and then pet battles i think my highest pet's like seven or eight maybe nine i think ten's pushing in um and they're fun but i just i get bored really quickly but i'm actually excited for the garrisons i mean for those that don't know it's like these little player housing and you have these like followers and i think you can name them yourself which i'm gonna give mine like really crazy names um nothing you know bad um 
but and you can like make them do things as your house gets bigger or something and you know you can go make them mine for you which I hate mining that I, I, I don't like it so if I can go tell Sir Bob or whatever I ended up naming him to go mine for me I think that is amazing and I cannot wait for that that is gonna be awesome there's also the new raid sizes which there's been a lot of talk about that so for those that don't know so currently I'll if I remember I'll put a chart up here too there is raid finder or looking for raid which is 25 players that's it that's what you get um, but in the new expansion it's gonna be 10 to 25 players I don't know exactly how that's gonna be determined but pretty excited for that the flex currently is 10 to 25 however that will be the new normal raid. No, new normal raid will be 10 to 25, which I think is great, which I was kind of thinking, um, my boyfriend and I were talking about this before, that that might be what they're going to end up doing. And what do you know? He was right. Hopefully he's not watching this, because I don't want him to think that he was right. <laughs> and then what was previously, you know, normal 10 and normal 25, so like, you know, the regular raid size, um, will be heroic 10 to 25. And then there's going to be, and then the hero, like the current heroic content, which is 10 and 25, will be mythic rating, which will be 20. Now, um, a lot of people are upset about this because if you're in a guild that has 25 people, generally a 25 man guild has a couple more people than 25 just because, you know, people have to miss raid or, you know, there might be a fight that's better suited for a priest over, you know, this paladin or whatever. And that means they're gonna have to cut more than five people, really. So there's, you know, five to ten people that are probably not gonna get taken by their guild unless they start really clearing the content and it's basically on farm. Um, so I think a lot of people are worried about their raid spots because maybe they're not the best player in the world, but, you know, they try and whatever. Um, and then, you know, I'm a 10-man raider, although I wish I raided 25, but I raid 10. And there's kind of that thing of, well, you know, 10-man can't, do mythic we only have 10 people however i think what a lot of guilds are doing is they are grouping up with another guild to do mythic rating which i think is great um you know it kind of makes friends on your server and if you have no friends on your server because you're a douchebag guild then that sucks to be you because probably no one's going to want to raid with you as well but i think people will kind of figure it out um i don't think there's really anything else that i was excited for oh character models. I didn't write this down on my list, but I'm excited for the character models. It actually makes me want to go make something a gnome because they just look so cute. Um, I haven't seen the character models for night elves or humans or I don't even think they've done Drenna yet. Um, and those are, are in blood elf, but those are like the main things that I have. Well, I don't have a Drenna yet, although I might be making my major Drenna. But I'm excited for the character models. I think it's great that they're doing it. A lot of people are upset because they're changing the character models and then they can't um, re-customize their character. They don't get like a free customization, but I think they're saying you could go to the barber shop or something and maybe they're going to make it so you can change your face. I don't know. That would be a little weird. It's like plastic surgery in World of Warcraft. Um, but I'm excited for the new expansion. Um, hopefully this time I will be getting the collector's edition because I've actually never gotten a collector's edition so hopefully fingers crossed I will be getting it uh, so let me know in the comment section below what you are excited for for warlords of Draenor or Wad um, or Draenor or Dre whatever you want to call it um, and um, what character you might be making 90 and if there's anything you're not excited about if there's anything that you're kind of just like meh I'm excited can't wait woohoo uh, so thank you for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Alright, talk to you guys later.